it's a bit dark. It's a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, but it's a bit dark. Hang on, let me turn the light on. Hello, 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 people. It's JSM. Um, actually, let me turn the camera. <sighs> I hope you all had a good 2023. Let's see, can I tilt this bloody thing? I'm actually in my bedroom. I'm in the bedroom and um, it's been a good year. Uh, 2023 was a good year. Very busy for me. I've got to be honest, very busy. But it was nice. It was nice. It was a really nice year. So 2024, you've seen some of the songs I posted on my YouTube channel, UKJSM. And um, I'm doing well on the videos, eh? I don't mince my words. Um, but that's actually why I'm recording myself now. I haven't done, what did, what did I call it, a mic side chat. I haven't done a mic side chat for a while. But to be brutally honest with you, I haven't been inspired to do that. I really haven't. I wasn't inspired now. But I'm actually in my bedroom just having to play around with this stand that is for a mo is for two monitors, but it's actually got the tablet on as I speak. Sorry, I'm going to have to try and learn to look at the camera, but I'm not very good at that. Um, I keep looking at me in the picture, so the eyes are a bit off. So I've got the tablet here. I've got the stand that holds the two monitors that holds the tablet in the back attic. I've also got the I don't know what you call this stand. It's a road. It's for your microphone. Yeah, so it's this. It's supposed to be good for microphones, but I've got that here. And basically, uh, you've seen Lonely River. Lonely River has been posted with the AI and the AI has been a bit of a blessing because it came on at just the right time for a couple of different songs. And to be honest, when I discovered the AI, which I already, I was already subscribed, but when they made other services available, I straight away thought of a couple of songs. So obviously you've heard Lonely River. I can't remember. There was something before. Listen what you can hear is not AI. I can't remember. But anyway, there's two other songs I've got in production at the moment. Get It On, which is, um, it's going to need a lot more time because I need more video. And you don't get a lot of good video on a free account. And plus, even, even with what you get, a certain percentage of that's no good. And the stuff that's good is still AI. It's, it's fake. It's a fake reality. But actually... Like I said, I'm a little write-up for the last for Lonely Rivers. It's Car Crash TV. You're going to watch it. You're going to enjoy it at first and think, this is it. Then you'll realise it's very unsettling, very disconcerted, because it's AI. It's not real. Um, so, the other song I'm doing is... I've been around the world and I didn't find... Uh, I think it's called Around the World. And that was a freestyle jam I did. 25 years ago at mum and dad's house. I was sitting in the back garden, pair of headphones on, microphone, the very same microphone I've got here. And um, I was basically jamming that outside, watching the birds and the bees. And then I, after I did that freestyle of the vocal, I ripped the vocal, so I extracted it out from the original jam and then stuck it in a totally different song. So there's the mic, that's the, the baby I'll be... That's what I always use, AKG C3000i, phantom powered. I love it. Funny enough, when I picked all my equipment at the beginning, I ended up with a, an Archi S3000i. You try and find any information on the Archi S3000i. Not CD, 
not S. There's tons of them. It, but it's, I think it's basically the same machine. The best thing about the 3000 is the sound, you know, and, and the beats and the bass. So I ended up with the Corrigal one, the AKS 3000, the AKG C3000 mic. And to this day, I've always loved the equipment I ended up with. And I sometimes wonder who picked it for me. But anyway, it's what I picked up and it's what I took home. So I'm here in the bedroom and I've been spending the last hour. Emma's downstairs watching Are You Being Served? And John has just been given by his mummy Minecraft Dungeons. And so he's over the moon. He gave his mum the biggest hug ever. And you know, it's true what that song said. Sometimes the best things in life are free. It's the things we create and we make just by being inspired, by being in love, or just by being. So I'm in the bedroom, got all this stuff out. Didn't intend doing this, but as usual, I never do. And my intention is to try and set this stuff up. Let me go back to Around the World. That video is coming along. I think it's mainly... Oh, it's not Peck Cells. It's the other one, Free Video Website. I'll come up with the name. I'll make sure the name goes on the video. Um, but it's video. It's mainly video orientated. So anything to do with anyone dancing, I'm ripping it and I'm putting it in the video. I'm basically trying to create a commercial, pop, cheesy, luminous, coloured, bright colours dance video. So long, baby, like you knew. What you want to dance for, and I like your mood. That song that plays sounds so much better when you run the floor. Um, and it's gone really well. I could easily finish that now, I can tell. Um, I don't want to. I'm actually over... I'm over producing it in DaVinci Resolve and it's becoming a really good learning curve. So it's actually teaching me a lot. For, as an example, Lonely River, which is an artificial intelligence generated picture, an image file, on Leonardo.ai and then using Leonardo.ai's video creator out of a picture up to four seconds I think it is so using their very same generated picture I'm, I was generating moving waters rivers and of course it's all artificially generated you can tell when you watch it obviously um, but that was the first time I got into that. This this one around the world is definitely much more just videos. There's no way I inside this. Um, but the editing is teaching me. I, and I wanted to say on Lonely River, it didn't teach me anything. It was actually the idea from Kaleidoscope. Uh, the uh, Kaleidoscope stuff I did and I discovered with Quake. Just basically reversing the same image, putting them together and um, generating some content like that. So Lonely River, I had no choice. I had to come up with a clever idea because the actual images were only, I think, 872 by 872. Now, if you're trying to film 1910 by 1080 and you stretch it, it's gonna look shit. It ain't gonna work. So that's why I doubled the image. And then if you look at the, uh, the third version of that, it's the same video images, but they've been reversed. And it was just a nice effect that I discovered at the last minute that I thought, sorry, I'll chuck another video together because it only took me minutes, really. Uh, 
Um, so back to around the world. I've been around the world and I didn't find... It's on looplibrary.co.uk and that's what it's called. The MP3 is. Um, that's just videos from... Well, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you get the name. It's not tech... It's not Pexels this time. Pexels is brilliant. That is my favourite. Um, and it's a long song. It's about six... Oh, no, that's... I uh, get it on. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a long song, so I need a lot of video. And it has to be high octane. It's, it's designed to tire you out visually. It's, it, it's, it's got to be busy. It's busy, busy, busy. And it's coming on really well. I'm extremely impressed with it. And it's taking more out of me than I thought it would. But the, I think the real reason for that is as I'm spending more time on the editing and the um, jumping from video to video. Sometimes you can literally do it in a split frame, cut the frame and go to the next sequence. But it's not as easy as it sounds, especially if you want to add to the dynamics of the song. In other words, give the song more energy and not less. It's easy just to chuck stuff together, which is actually what I did in Windows Movie Maker with Acid's Back. I'll, I'll redo that one one day. But when I made Acid's Back video, which was only 728 by whatever, whatever Movie Maker could do the highest of, um, I couldn't do anything else in the video because Movie Maker crashed. The minute I started adding the cheesy Movie Maker effects, the system shut down. It, it, it couldn't handle it. And that's also because I was using the Windows Movie Maker hack for Windows 7. So maybe that was what was causing the problem. Don't know. Don't care. Uh, I'll get what I can out of something and then I'll move on. So that might get a, a, a facelift one day. But again, around the world's the same kind of concept. Just putting bits of video together. But I am still getting sucked into the video effects and basically the effects I can add. The transitioning of the video. It's coming along really well. I'm prolonging it. That, that's the one skill that I've got now that I never had 20 years ago. Um, once the majority of the song idea was together, I'd literally have the song done within a day. And that's because I was in a rush to get an instant result and get an instant hit and an instant fix for myself. Now I'm a bit more disciplined at giving it some time to let other ideas come in. Here, here's an example. Here's an example. So I'm working on Get It On. She got nice long legs in a mini skirt and a great set of pecs. She no, very cheesy dance floor, teeny bop, mid twenties girl dances round handbag music. It's Lucasaid turned pop. So if you go on my website, looplibrary.co.uk, you can find Lucas Aid, which is the big song, and you can find, is it Get It On? Get It On. Oh, I can't even remember the names to my own songs. Get It On, which is the cheesy, poppy, me singing a couple of verses version, which I, 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 I just hoped a woman would sing it, but maybe one day, we'll see. I don't care. Uh, I will try and sing it myself again. Now. Yay, who gives a shit? It's fun. Uh, why did I bring Get It On up? Yeah, it's to do with the video, isn't it? Um now it ain't get it on. Now if you got it, girl, let them know it. Get out, baby, go and show it. And if anybody wants to know it, go get it on. So the video, yes, today I did some more AI generation from the 150 free credits that Leonardo.ai give you. My advice to you out there is if you make music and you make videos, join Leonardo.ai. I'm not getting anything, any kickbacks here. It's worth it. It's, it's the best one out there. It gives you just enough credits to play with. And it gives you more than enough tools to create with. So God bless Leonardo.ai. You guys are amazing. Good service. And if I ever decided to make songs that paid, that made money, I would definitely invest money in Leonardo.ai. I'm telling you, definitely. That's a must for anyone out there that wants a quick freebie 
to experiment quickly. So, I, excuse me, as I'm making the Get It On video, I'm basically after a big audience, lots of heads bouncing up and down and waving. Eh, it's all AI, don't forget, none of it's real. <coughs> <coughs> and occasionally have a woman appearing dancing or women plural i don't know don't care but you can't always be that specific because ai ain't that smart you've just got to work within the boundaries of ai and it, you, that's a learning curve i've got to be honest typing in the queries and then what i learned a nice little trick i learned is put a space at the end of your whole query term and what happens is it generates a different image with the same text it's quite clever it was a nice little hack that i discovered so i was occasionally generating a woman dancing or a woman st standing still sorry with tight shorts on long legs got nice long legs in a mini skirt i keep looking down here at my picture and then i remember i've got to look up here and um it came up with a few images I learned very quickly. Try not to have too many faces in it because it hammers the AI. It's, so it, the AI then concentrates on the faces and neglects the rest of the video. And then it wasn't till today. And I've been, I've been making these videos probably three months now. Five or six a day, five or six a day, five or six a day. Using the free credits when I get a spare 10, 15 minutes. I sit and do that. Um, and... It, yeah, it wasn't till today, Emma's watching Are You Being Served? And I'm on the other machine down there, working away. And I, I did a, two or three silly things, like zooming in on the lady, getting a cheeky view of her bum. Don't forget, AI. Hey, AI, calm down. And then panning out, and then also cropping the picture and letting the other pictures come through. And I was, I was blown away about the effect. The effect I was getting from the song was an effect I was trying to get for um, oh, long, long, and you love. Oh, I don't even know that that jam I did. All my jams are about women, and I, I'm one of the least experienced men on the planet to do with women. Honestly, it's amazing. But it because I freestyle, I don't even take credit for what I do. It just I become the medium whereby which information is conveyed, and that's it. So. Yeah, what was it that I can't? I, I played it on a kiddie's guitar, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, and um, so when I zoomed in on the lady, she was sort of simulated simulation walking away from the camera, and then you could see the disco lights and the laser lights coming around. It was a wow moment for me. I realized that uh, I forgot to say that I thought I was overdoing it with a woman because I didn't think it was going to work as well as the crowd. I was wrong. And I love it when I'm wrong because I learn. I always learn. So Get It On's going really well. Uh, Lonely River was nice. That was, and it was a bit late when I introduced the uh, man and the woman. And that was a late addition to the idea. And then the minute I added that, I realised it It really added a, it turned it into a love story, I suppose. Or it, it made it personalised it. It made it more personal to the viewer. So that went really well. Um, what was the one I did with Charlie and what was the one I did with Lolly and oh, listen, what can you hear? That just came out of nowhere. Ah, it was a, whoa, that was a journey and a half sitting there, chucking a few sounds together, realizing they complemented each other, decided to find some, a hook. And then when I found my niece saying what she said, which is some sort of school poem. Forgive me if it looks like I'm looking up. I'm actually looking out the bedroom window and I don't know why I'm doing it. It's very comfortable. I just hope it doesn't look like I'm ignoring you. And um, the, minute she, the minute I played, listen, what can you hear? I knew instantly, whoa, this is, this is something. I overdid it a bit with the acid. That doesn't surprise me because I fucking love the acid house, the rebirth. Um, but that was an amazing... Sometimes I don't plan this stuff.
plan it. I, I just sit there and watch it manifest. Fancy cocky word, but you know what I mean. So anyway, back to today. I was trying to set it up downstairs and it just, it wasn't working. Can I not? Put it back. Fucking tight. Um, I was trying to get it working downstairs. I didn't like what I was seeing at the back. I need a wall behind me so when you edit in DaVinci Resolve, the less shit you've got behind you, the easier it is to edit. And I think, I'm not 100% sure on this, but if you're a cheapskate like me, and I'm not going to invest another thousand pound in a PC just so it can do that fancy taking JSM out the image and then superimposing it on something else. I'm quite happy to use the basic effects. I, I, I'm not that bothered or interested, to be honest. Um, and I'm certainly not interested in playing with the colour filters. You can fuck off with that. That's I, I'm here to enjoy myself, not learn how to make movies. Um, but. If you keep the background to a bare minimum, it's easier to get rid of the background when you come to doing your editing. And I've learned a lot very quick, but I always do anyway. So that's why I'm in the bedroom, because I knew I've got a nice big wall here. They all need painting, and maybe this is the energy, uh, the intention, energy, and effort I need to kick up the bum. But I've got a big wall here. The bed's over there. I'm trying to squeeze this table next to the bed. It's cramped. But it's, it's a home. It's a home with a temporary whatever this little studio is. So back to around the world. Been around the world and I didn't find a better place for you and me to be than on the dance floor late girl at night. So back to that song. I got the idea one night. Do we want a little bit of JSM in there? So I quickly filmed myself on the tablet. And I do mean... This is actually on a stand. Down there, I'd hooked on a shelf above the computer, used the computer screens as light, put them on me and pressed record. And I thought, I just want to see what I look like in the song. Now, I'll be honest, that does stand out. And I've got to take that into account. Not that it bothers me, it really doesn't. But it bothers the fact that I'm putting this effort in and that's causing a bit of a problem. So maybe I'll get it done, you know, I'm in no rush. I'm getting old now, so I don't really care. But it's, that wasn't the problem. The problem was, and it wasn't till this song that I realised this, that every time you have a face in a song singing to, singing the words, <coughs> excuse me, or maybe I'm placing this much emphasis on it because it was me, but Emma said the same thing. The minute you put someone's face in the video, we all focus on it. And we seem to spend more time staring at that and not paying attention to the rest of the video. Now, that's not a problem because the little bits of me here and there did work. I tended to notice that more. And that's the first time it really made me aware. So I liked, I liked a bit of me in the video, but it detracted from the rest of the video. And that's never happened with me before. So I'm in this room now to try and maybe film myself. I could tell with the filming I did for Around the World, I should have said... <coughs> We've all got the cough, by the way. John was off. No, he wasn't off school. It was he was off anyway, wasn't it? But then Emma was off for voluntary work, and she's she's healed amazingly. So God bless her for that. God bless this universe for helping me with my Emma. You know, I wish her all the best. What you girlies have to go through, I I, I wish you all the best. I truly do. It's all I can do. I just wish you all the best. But Emma's endometriosis has backed off a bit. Looks like the uh, what the doctors did did help her. She's on her feet more, and I want to get back out in the real world, you know, because I've been looking after Emma, and I, no offence, I love her. I've had enough. I want to get back out there. So that's what's going to be happening this year as well. But um, so I want to film myself again, looking like I've put more effort into it. But the one thing I did realise in that video, I didn't want a lot of me. I wanted bits and pieces. So in other words, it always reminds me, it's Friday night, da 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 da. It, uh, for some reason, I'm trying to emulate that idea when the people just pop in occasionally. The singer's only occasionally popping in. So that's what I'll be trying to go for. And so while I've got all these stands, I was playing around with the camera stand. That's, and there you go. So I mean, everyone's got one of these tucked somewhere. Just walk in a bloody charity shop and you'll find one. 
and there's nothing fancy about it, but it's not actually doing anything. I've never really found a brilliant use for it. Maybe putting a microphone on at the height of a guitar. Haven't got to the guitars yet. I did plug a guitar in two, three, four days ago downstairs because I was, oh right, that's another song, Oompa Thumpa. That's what the fold is called. Boxing. It, the video originally started a woman walking away and I would slow the video down and stop her and then speed it up again and slow and that takes a lot of time because you're effectively editing a speed curve ramping it, acceleration, deceleration and no offence uh, to DaVinci Resolve it's brilliant the way you guys do it but I, instead of seeing a, a sinusoidal curve I would rather see a table of percentages or ratios and times so I could do it that way because I could then do the ramping of the video perfectly in time with the song and also I could imagine it in my head and pick numbers that go to the speed of the people moving exactly the speed I want. It sounds a bit like an, an uh, it sounds a bit analytical but it's not really it's just you can't repeat certain sequences of speed ramps that you want to do well, forgive me, I don't know a good way of doing it. I just have to kind of guess by looking at the curves. And I'm, I don't work like that. I like working with numbers. So that number does this for me. I want to know that number works every single time. So that's just the way I like working. So that's another one. And then, yeah, I plugged the guitar in to hear that shit. Not that, not that my playing was shit, which it was. Trust me, it was. the guitar was even out of tune. But it was John's guitar and he came in and had a little play. But... He's, he's not the, he's only seven he's he's on minecraft dungeons now so he's very happy so i didn't like that uh tried the keyboard the um don't know what it's called not the corrigo one yeah i don't know what it's just a keyboard one of the old yamahas they're brilliant um and i couldn't i heard nothing i like and funny enough that happens a lot the beatboxy stuff i do i don't even like instruments in it and effects, I don't know, except when I put reverb and I bring myself right up loud. Um, it's a strange one that it's rules are being predetermined or made up for me, and I don't even know why. I just follow them because when I hear certain sounds being mixed in, I think, nah, that's not happening. Although that might be the first song I put some scratching in because in my head I can hear me scratching to that. And I, it's, I think it's 105 BPM and that might get me to do the flash forming really well. But it's been so long since I've done any scratching. We won't know until we put me on the spot and we find out. The interesting thing about the scratching is, uh, is, the, uh, is it the Bulldog mixer that I modified? I've got that little switch of mine that 25 years ago when I was why, even going to nightclubs and challenging people and um, thrashing the fuck out of them. Especially, uh, I'm not going to say any names, a uh, Mr. Bernstein, his nephew or his cousin that came along and somebody set a challenge up in Top Cats and Redditch and I think I whipped his ass. And I had a friend of mine standing there and he just had two screwdrivers. I told him, just stand there and hold those two screwdrivers. And on one of them I had a pile of records and on the other one I had nothing. I didn't come with my records in the sleeves. He just had them all balanced on a screwdriver. And I opened up with um, Yvette's Revenge. What heads that? You know what? He really fuck up this town. His ass is mine. Yo, Kid Fresh, let's start this shit. And when I dropped that, the place kicked off. Um, the other place it kicked off is when I mixed... Um, I might get the name wrong, but... The Shrangalas, but the song is 369, the goose drank wine, the monkey chewed tobacco and the street color line. And when I cut that in, I dropped Axel F. Is that Harold, Harold Foltimer, Axel F? 
I dropped the speed from 45 to 33. So it was du, 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 on top, well, behind actually, uh, 369. And then that's another time the place went mad. And so the poor DJ at the night who'd invited his cousin to kick my ass, um, he kept telling the audience, what did you think of my nephew? And it's boo, what did you think of him? He wouldn't have it, but the crowd told me everything I needed to know. And that was good. And here's another funny thing about that. that and Mark would, uh, Evil T, Mark, I see him all the time. He would back me up on this. Me and him didn't have SL1200s. You guys had SL1200s. We had cheap Pioneer JVC decks. And we used to stick a penny on the needle and I used to melt the middle of my records to stop them moving on the pin. So I was a bit anal about all this stuff. And um, we got good, but we got good on shit. So when I touched an SL1200, what was the first thing I did when he was introducing me? I scratched and I thought, what can I get away with? And by the time I'd finished testing, I remember thinking to myself, if I can get away with this, I'm going to kill him. And that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. So back to around the world. So that's actually why I'm making this now. So this will eventually become a mic side chat. I'm trying to get me filmed. I, and this is no good because I'm sitting down. Camera needs to be higher. Everything needs to be stable and repeatable. If I can't repeat it quick and easy, I'm not doing it. I want to be able to repeat the process meticulously. Um, so I've got to get the camera higher. I've got this stand, uh, what did we call it? A road. Fuck, you see the table's moving when I move that. Once it's in the right place, it'll be fine. So I could probably, oh, I probably need to put a bit more weight on that. If I can get the AKG in there. So eventually, you see, what I was thinking is because of my tooth, and also, I'm not even sure if I really want me in the video. But if I do... I could have the microphone about there. I actually want, yeah, I, yeah I, I can't do that right now, but I actually want my head staying still. In the other video I did to test out in uh, around the world, I was bobbing my head to the beat and I always do that. Uh, it's natural for me to do that for some reason, but I didn't like it. So long, baby, like you I watch you on the dance floor and I like your moves That song plays out so much better when you're on the floor didn't like it. I want it much more, much more smiley because I was a bit serious in it as well. Like I said, I was chucking it together. I decided I want this done within 10 minutes tops. Video made on the PC, ready to be cropped in. And he told me a lot. I was surprised that it did actually work. Sorry, I'm going to try and look up there. It did work, but I got really fed up of seeing me after a couple of seconds. It worked brilliantly every now and then because every time it popped up you watch him and you're watching the singer and you're not paying attention to the video and I didn't I don't want that it's just you'd have to watch the video twice actually it's same as Lonely River when you you try and watch the uh AI in that and then at the end ask yourself did you watch the AI or did you watch the man and the woman and I noticed that in that video oh is that my Emma hi darling I'm making a mic side chat. I've just decided to. Do you want to oh, yeah. come and give me a kiss and say hello? Oh, <laughs> she didn't say it. <laughs> okay, off you go. Go and have your. Shut the door, eh? Open the window. I didn't say that, sorry. So, um, I did like it. I did like it, but only a couple of seconds. I got very fed up of it very quickly if within five seconds i thought well i've seen enough of me because i want you'll have to see it for yourself 
I, I loved the interaction of the different videos that I interlaced and cut and interweaved and pasted and mixed video effects wise. I just like that and maybe it doesn't need me in it. Having said that, it was too close to a maybe for me not to do it. I have to do it now. Even if I put all that work in and then think, yeah, mute Stuart, we don't need him. JSN can <laughs> off. That I don't mind. And I guarantee you, I could still be able to use it for a, a different mix. So if you did a mix with lots of reverb on the singer and just the beats and some synthy effects, you can always adapt to make different versions. And that's why I'm up here now. And that's why I've made this because I didn't have any intention to doing a mic side chat. You just see my gorgeous girl there. And, um, and uh, oh, hello, darling, you're back. So I didn't intend doing this. I didn't intend getting that gorgeous, lovely woman's kiss. She's looking at the bed, what? No, I just wonder what you... Oh, but I'm, I'm just telling everybody, I'm trying to figure out how you're to... You're making a white mess in your bedroom. Definitely, <laughs> how, to, how to film myself <coughs> but from higher up. And it's this is not the setup I want, but it's stable and it's settled and it does the job. So at a later date, I might have to try and come up with ideas. Is it looking at that? What you is that tomorrow to do more cross this video? Yeah, definitely. But then what you'd have to do is just swing the handles round so you're sitting on that side and it'd be perfect. What that side? Well, what I mean is if you turned the table round and they were over there, because then it would never rock. Do you watch? Sorry, everybody. See the rocking. Yeah. But having said that. You could also put your paperwork and stuff on the table. The only problem with that is if you bang it, you bang the picture and the images. So maybe it is better this way and you've got a separate table. Yeah. No, okay, know. darling. No. So um, back to uh, around the world, editing the videos. Um, it's, well, it's been, what, less than a year? Maybe a year now I've been editing in DaVinci Resolve. And then this morning, I play with Get It On. And then also Pika. God bless you, Pika. AI website. People, if you want some free AI, not enough credits, guys. So I'm not investing too much time on your site as Leonardo. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just that's the way it works. Um, but Pika is another AI website that I'm making some lovely... Basically, it's the disco lights. I thought I'd just try it for luck. I typed in and they're, they're coming up with some amazing backing effects. And when I put them on top of the dancer in Get It On and also on top of the crowds, it really did add an effect. So Um, this is all about around the world. I've been around the world and I didn't find... Um, hello, sunshine. Come, come here, Daddy's making a video. Oh, he's off. <laughs> he's laughing his head off. So this is really... I have been thinking for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, a couple of months. How can I utilise the house for me to make videos... And it's not until making the videos that your ideas expand, your potential grows, and then you apply what's around you. And that's all I'm doing. Um, this is bolted to a round table, a pine table. The stands will eventually clip to the same table. And then I'm hoping this wall here becomes the back wall because this is the, it's the outside of the house. So it's a semi-detached. And uh, it's a big wall, so if I was to paint that white, although I, like I said to you, if it's if you've got black behind you, it seems to be easier to do all the cheaper video effects like I do and will be doing. Thank you. None of the fancier ones. I, my PC can't cope with them, so it's it's pointless. And um, to be honest, it does a bloody good job. So if you're doing color burns and things like that, it adjusts the uh, transparency threshold. You get away with a lot and. You, well, look at my videos. It's That's all they are. It's the basics of DaVinci Resolve. And you can do that all in the free version. You really can. Um, and that's why I've made this. 
I maybe I should have done this at, at Christmas and wished you all a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, 2024, the bang stuff, I haven't been near it. Everything's ready. Oh, there was a problem, wasn't there? When I made the kaleidoscope, I realised... I realised I could instantly see the difference and the beneficial gain. I could in instantly see the uh, dramatic improvement in video quality when you go from 60 frames a second, when you go to 60 from 30. Now, obviously it's more frames per second, but it's not a higher DPI dots per inch or pixels or whatever. But the problem is the minute I saw it, I realised I want to do Bang & Ripper like that. And I don't know. I've got both files ready, all on a half terabyte hard drive for each side. So that's not the problem. The problem is the editing, the PC speed, what have you. But that can't go any further now until I've made the songs. And it's too fucking cold up there in the back attic in this cold. God bless you all. I hope you're all staying safe and well and warm and happy. But I'm not going up there, not until it's a bit warmer. And to be honest, I'm actually more happier about what I've been doing on DaVinci Resolve and the videos. I've thoroughly enjoyed that. And the irony is, a bit like, listen, what can you hear? That was done within a week. That was done within a week. And if you know your stuff and you go back and watch them and pay attention to that's hard work. And I did them in under a week. point is I'm learning every time I do this stuff I'm learning I'm learning I'm learning and so it makes me wonder where does it go where does it st well it doesn't end does it it doesn't end how much further can I take that journey so I'm very happy just to take things as they come along just to, and isn't it interesting think of the butterfly effect because I haven't done a mic side chat for a while and I asked my gorgeous girlfriend is, uh, or something else you don't even know about. But I'll talk about this in a minute. But let's just have a look at that. Okay, you can see that. It's just, just bits of wood, isn't it, eh? But these bits and that bit used to be a cross-stitch ring that I've now adapted. Some speaker clamps, speaker grill clamps, nuts. And now you can put a tablet in there. You can tilt the tablet up and down sit it on a table but I've got a bigger piece of wood for the base it's actually a, a breadboard you know at the bottom you just a, a bigger chopping board that I've drilled two holes in and just screw this to but what's that for that's so you can put your tablet in there let me show you my fingers I'm sorry it's really um why am I not seeing myself so you can basically do that with it and swivel it left and right on the table a bit like a mirror and so as I'm a comes in the room, you just heard her say, oh, uh, I'll use that for my cross-stitch video. And even she's not been that motivated lately. So the butterfly effect is ever there, ever working, and ever, what's the word, assisting us day by day. Um, I don't really have a lot more to say. The AI is an amazing gift. Artificial intelligence is just what you digital watch does your fridge when the light comes on in the inside or when it regulates the temperature yes it's a it's a glorified version all these algorithms and what have you but i don't think it's anything to fear you're not going to replace human beings i'm not i don't believe in any of that but it's been a blessing for me it's given me another way to to express the creativity that i already have created because I have noticed that that technology would apply to more clinical digital songs. So it seems to lend itself more to my digital 
commercial crappy songs. I've got to be honest, but that's fine. There's two other songs I will be doing. One's called Out of Touch. <laughs> That's not even a song. That was a jam on Cool Edit Pro, just changing filter effects with a beat going through in real time. And it was playing one of my soundscapes in the background. So it might have been Ripper, uh, a Ripper's Tear. It might have been Space Cowboy. I can't remember. And then it was really nice. It was just a, a little jam that I did. And I've already got video that I know will work with that. And I th what, what was that? AI website. Oh, I can't remember because I haven't used it. It doesn't seem to work properly in Windows 7 anymore. So I can't really, I can't remember, but you'll see it. I'm going to be putting the names in the videos or in the text as a thank you because they deserve it. These, these people that are giving us these little ways of using their content for free, they deserve a thumbs up. They really do. <laughs> It's been nice actually it's been nice playing with that stuff um in the studio not been in there quake stuff is all done yeah i haven't sorry don't misunderstand me all the video is in davinci resolve and edited the, the bits i don't want have been edited out they've even been color coded so if it's jsm running around killing bots it's a color if it's bots running around, it's a color. You're not going to see much of them because they're AI bots, Reaper bots. Uh, Quake Old School would know what that is. Reaper 81 is just for you guys out there that want to know what that is. So if you watch carefully, but you, you'll have to watch really carefully because I am good. I've edited out that the fact that a bot has to take two steps forward and one step back. And I mean that literally. That's how this fuzzy logic seems to work. So the guys are going two steps back. Two steps back, and nobody does that in real life. So you don't really see much of the bots. The video editing is going to look amazing. It already does, and I haven't done anything yet. All I've done is crop it to the bits I want to keep, and then color-coded them accordingly. So the next job on that will be editing the two songs. Hey, it may take a year, it might take two years. Who cares? Who cares? Just enjoy the moment and enjoy what you're doing. Uh... What else do I want to say? Don't know. I think that'll do for now. I don't think I'm going to get what I want in here tonight. The next thing I'm going to try when I'm finished talking to you guys and girls is I'm going to try the table on the bed. So st get the table. It's a bedside table, you'd say, like a, a coffee table or a telephone table. It's about four foot wide, is it? Three foot. And then that will get the camera higher up so I can stand up because I, I imagine me in the around in the around the world with my head against the wall, trying to get the camera so you don't see too much of that. Maybe put the microphone in front, but then that would take away the relaxed atmosphere because I, I like the idea of the singer being very relaxed and very hazy, but actually a bit engaged and interested in the song they're singing because in the other video you could tell I was actually looking at the monitors just co concentrating on other things um, but it's funny how much this has all worked out in other words me using a tablet to record video that needs editing in DaVinci Resolve to put two songs 
and as another example when I recorded that crappy video for around the world I did two two I did it two times and the song's about six minutes long and I got many of the words wrong but so what you'd edit them out anyway that's that's why you get video editors and um yet again when I when I ran alongside the whole mp4 of me singing alongside the song inside the venture resolve it, it hardly went out if at all and I can remember many years ago trying to do stuff like that and it just didn't work it just didn't work that's it guys I'm gonna call it a day I can't believe that I've spoken for 43 minutes and I've said not a lot really but I'm glad I'm glad I did I wish you all well. I wish you a happy 2024. And I hope life brings you exactly what you want. God bless you. God guide you. God protect you. JSM is out. I love you all. Wish you well. Bye bye. Stop there. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, okay, mate. Bad enough. I'm getting dizzy. I'm not even singing, but I'm breathing it. Um, girl, you know I like the way. <clears throat> Trying to get that energy. I'm faking it. And actually, thinking about it, this is the first song I've ever tried to mime. I'm trying to do what I did 25 years ago. Um, Again, the video seems better, I've got to be honest. Uh, it does seem better. I like the uh, the body actions more. And then the just the haphazard laziness of it. I think that's what I want, but I'm not too sure. Uh, camera position, I would have liked it a bit higher, but I can't tilt the camera down. The camera's literally hooked on. All the clever gadgets I've got don't get the tablet high enough, so it's not going to work. Um, I'll come up, with, come up with something at a later date. But for now, I just want to I want to see what this will look like. And uh, I watched the first one, and I quite liked it. Got to be honest, I did. I keep looking up there. Sorry, and the camera's down. The camera is down there because the tablet's upside down because it's hanging. It's draping. It's it's, it's hung up. So, um, all I've done is, in the end, I've just used the camera stand, hooked the tablet upside down on the handle, nothing clever, on the round table, had to close the legs a bit so I could extend the feet more. Had to, Yeah, on the stand, I had to close it in a bit so I could extend the legs more to get extra height, but that didn't work. When I did get the, uh, the tablet much higher up, I couldn't tilt it enough to get me in view. And to be honest, I already know the camera needs to be close up to the singer. Because I really just want me cropped. I just want the head. And I'm fucking looking up there. <laughs> I should be looking there. Because I just want the head in the video. And to be honest, there's not going to be a lot of it. If I do a good enough job, there might be none in it. I'm just being honest with you. Uh, been a while since I did some recording of me. I think why I watch you was the last time. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Not, uh, and I'm on a bit of video. So we'll see. Um, the good thing about doing it as well is I discover the things I can't achieve. And then I think, how the fuck can I make that happen? So how can I get a stand that goes all the way up. Something that just goes up. Dead simple. Don't know. I, I might have to make something. Goes up as high as I want and then allows the tablet to rock that way and go that way. Now the table stand that I've made. Let, let me show you that again. So 
So that is just a, a cross stitch thing. Normally there's a round loop in there, you know, the cross stitch rings and then you can tilt it and move it. So I've adapted it. You mount the base to something and then you can tilt that way and you can swivel it that way. And if I put the bigger base on, then it sits on a table and turns and you can tilt it a bit like a, a tilting mirror and it does the job. It really does do the job well. It's a genius little piece of kit. Um, so if I could sit that on something and go all the way up and then tilt it up and down, as long as the center of gravity is in the middle of what I've made, and to be honest, the base compensates for that, so it's not a problem, that would solve my problem. But I don't want shit in the house that I don't use all the time. I'd rather, actually an idea would be another table on top of this table. But if you get a narrower diameter, then the camera stand is rest being restricted. Don't know. I'm not, I'm not really going to decide any of that because until tonight, um, until today, sorry, and tonight, I didn't have this. This idea hadn't happened yet. So it's, it's, it, I'm glad I did it. I tried to tart myself up a bit wet the hair, you know. I tried to tilt, cover the tooth a bit. 56 going on 15 god knows very happy happiness comes from the inside eh? always look after your heart um so i will probably get the mic side chat up tomorrow which is what what day is that thursday and i will also have a look at these videos and and, and um put them on the studio pc drag them into DaVinci Resolve and have a quick look. I'll know instantly. I like the, f I like the look of the way I'm singing. I like the, the haphazardness, the rolling the head on the wall, laziness, uh, trying to smile more, put a bit of smile on, but it's never going to be as good as capturing the moment you sing it. It's, that's that. That's the hard bit for me. I will not be re-singing this one because this was a fly freestyle and I couldn't ever do that again. And don't forget, I did it to another backing track and I didn't want that backing track, so I had to extract it. Nowadays, that thing that I, the text I wrote in Lonely Rivers that I discovered something in DaVinci Resolve, you can do such a good job of extracting audio from lots of noise in the background. It blows away what I used to do. So for all the conspiracy stuff I would have posted, and then if you ever see at the end of the description, JSM Cleaner Audio, if there were certain um, people doing speeches and talks that I liked and they were old and dirty, I would clean them up and then upload them to the internet free of charge. You know, that's my way of doing God's work. We all have different ways of helping I suppose and um, I used to do that for years and years slash JSM cleaner audio and you know I've been there but it shows you how technology moved on because if you use DaVinci Resolve to do it it's a wow <laughs> and I, I mean wow you I heard people talk about it and yeah I thought okay sounds interesting but when you hear it and you do it yourself and you hear the before and the after that's a wow moment. That's when you really, you, you realize, you come to realize. So that's what happened with this song. The original song was extracted from another backing track that I thought was all right. I, I think it was just a looped moog, lots of recycled loop moog bits. And I just sang over the top, freestyled, then listened and thought, actually, I like the lyrics, don't like the backing. So I, I've, got, I've still got the original somewhere. I must make sure that's on the website and maybe even put a copy of that up along with the song. Original concept, say, so that would be good. Um, right, I've had enough. Uh, I'm out of breath just from miming. Would you believe it? I'm out of breath just from doing the mime, trying to keep in time. And it's hard work. I'm listening, I'm trying to sing. I don't remember the words. I'm telling you, I don't remember the words to the song. That's why I'll never do this one. Fuck that off. I ain't going there. Uh-uh. Um, but it was, it's fun. It's always fun. Whenever I do something like this, 
it's fascinating to know what the result will be. And occasionally, you can trust me, I've put hours and hours and hours of work into something, loaded it into the studio, pressed the play button, and thought, oh, okay. And then I've just gone, delete, 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 delete. I'm not playing that shit again. It happens. You, you get it wrong occasionally. Very rare. But like I said about today with the get it on, um, get it on, yeah. That song, Get It On, <coughs> when I discovered what I did about the video with the AI stuff and the way it, it, it just worked. Something that I was if, humming and hawing about for quite a while, I must be honest, and I thought I was wasting my time making videos of women, animated women walking. Um, and now I've got a different kind of a use and it really, really works. And then the funny thing is looping the song, little tight bits with the video being animated in the same way will work as well. Um, this one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the video of me is going to be in it around the world. But honestly, when I first looked at what I did, it worked. It did work. It's just, you, you can easily overdo it in this song and it distracts the viewer from the video. And the video... Almost like you'll hear people say hypnosis and symbology and if you sit in front of the TV, you're hypnotized. Well, yeah, there's probably truth in that. I mean, it's entertainment. It's, it's um, what did they say? Television, tell, lie, vision. If you believe all that stuff, you'll never do anything. My lucky number's 13. No, I'm not a mason. I'm, my next number's 33. No, I'm not. Take the energy and transmute it into what you want. And if anyone tells you, oh, that frequency's not a good one, or you should be using a more harmonious frequency, or that number's a bad number, inside your own consciousness, you just decide, by divine grace, I now make it a positive one. And in the center of my paradigm, in my tiny little universe, it just is. And that's it. Nobody can change it except me, and it's not up for changing. Make the best of what you have and make the best of what you are, because you are worth it. P.S. I love you. I wish you well. God bless you. God guide you. And God protect you. And if I get any sarky comments about this, I'm going to start up a Fill My Gap Fund, and you better contribute. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, people. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody hurry. I don't know where they're going, but when they get there, oh, they're going to be sorry. The faster you try to get there, that career, that money, and you're going to figure it out that yeah, it was the journey. It was not the destination. You're in a hurry to get there, to come up, to be this, to be that. And when you get there, you're going to feel discouraged more than you.